my name's uh, Nick Renton and I'm a second year medical student from Notre Dame. So we're here in the lovely Jugaridi community, which is about an hour and a half south of Fitzroy Crossing in the Kimberley. So this is Max, he's one of the nice camp dogs in the community and he generally just hangs around the teachers' houses. The project that we're, with Notre Dame that we're doing at the moment, um, so it's, it's a week of compulsory sort of placement and we get placed in the community over here and Lottie and myself were given a placement at the Mondrum Art Gallery. Um, we've been here for about two days now and it's been a very different experience, something that I'm not used to, not being from the country, having never seen country life. We've learned that this art gallery has actually been a very crucial part of the culture remaining so strong throughout the time. It's really important for them to paint the Wajana and connect to that culture and spirit and it allows them to I say it's a very important part of them finding who they are and their journeys in life and making sure that they stay true to their culture and their families. So today we're out at uh, Mimby Caves. So it's about an hour east of Fitzroy Crossing. We're actually the most easterly group that's been placed out in the Kimberley. So we're certainly out in the Wild West. We got to go mud crabbing with one of the members of the Shire. She took us out in her tinny and we went into some of the, the rivers and the creeks and we uh, laid some crabbing pots. I'd never crabbed before and it was a wild experience. Oh, it's getting out! Oh. It won't get out, it won't get out. <laughs> oh, it might get out. <laughs> so today we've come out to Fitzroy Crossing for the repatriation service. It's a reburial of bodies which were discovered, kind of eroded by the Fitzroy River, their burial site. Um, so it's been a really nice service. You'd never see anything like this in Perth and I feel really honoured to be invited along today and to have witnessed what goes on. So I guess this program came to be because when I was a very young doctor, I had the privilege of working in Fitzroy Crossing. Ended up staying three and a half years. I had the most amazing time um, in the Fitzroy Valley. I learned so much from the people who I was actually meant to be looking after. If you don't understand the context in which you're working, there is no basis for the actual scientific medical stuff that you do, practicing only the science of medicine, but without the art of medicine. So this is really teaching them the art of medicine. Notre Dame University, you know, sending out students to these areas and actually learning on country is everything because yes, you pick up bits and pieces from textbooks and lectures, but literally being here and, and talking to people on the ground, you get different perspectives of what you thought was perhaps true and correct, or you get just different opinions and different views putting it all together is kind of invaluable in terms of practice. We were involved in uh, helping to muster the cows and working the gates and then once the cows were in we were vaccinating the cows with um, botulism vaccination, stop the cows getting botulism. Coming into this I, I was excited but I, I never actually truly understood the value that I would, I would get from this and I feel so lucky to have experienced what I have. And the station that I worked on was just so incredible and I don't think I would have ever had that experience had it not been for this, this Kimberley placement trip. I was always going to go rural but this has definitely fueled that passion even more and I'm definitely coming back here. I think it's really important because we get, you can get so caught up in what's happening right around you in just a little bubble in Fremantle and Greater Perth that you forget that there's a lot of people from the Kimberley that come down to places like Perth or the bigger regions to access whatever services you might have. And it really is, unless you've actually been up and experienced it, you don't really know what life is like.